Anything you do in ceramics which involves a wheel, the essence of it is that you have to know how to find centre, which sounds like a really new age thing. But I actually have found myself latterly kind of actually using some expressions like mindfulness about learning ceramic techniques because it's true. You know, when you look at someone who's a really good thrower, and they sit down and they make a bowl or something. It it looks like one fluid movement. It's you know, magic. It's actually it's one movement, and then there's another movement, and then there's another movement, and those things are done in sequence. As soon as Dad touched clay, he said he had this sort of epiphany. It was like, this is my material. But there was something kind of elemental about it, and it was very tactile, and it was very immediate. What you do immediately has an effect on, on the clay. Well, I've got very, very used, particularly my early career, of people going, oh, you're Milton Moon's son. It's the one. Um, there was never anything I really resented. I mean, I admire him. Um, and for me, there has never been a moment of epiphany where I've fallen in love with it. It's what I do. And I've got to the point where um, I, I'm, I'm good at it. When I look my hands when I'm throwing a pot. I see his hands. Like they're doing the same things. Particularly as I get older. When I sit down at a wheel and throw a pot, it's him. It is him.